So if you've been looking into home batteries lately, you've uh, probably run into this really common problem. Oh, right? yeah. The classic dilemma. Exactly. It feels like you always have to choose. Either you get enough raw power to, you know, run everything at once, but the battery dies pretty quick. Or it lasts ages, but uh, struggles if you tune on the air conditioning or the stove. Right. It's frustrating. But that compromise might actually be ending. Today, we're diving into two brand new systems hitting the market in 2025. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Solar Scoop. Today, it's the Franklin WHA Power 2 versus the Enphase IQ Battery 10C. And both of these are aiming to solve that exact problem, giving you strong power and decent capacity. <laughs> they really are. But uh, the interesting part is how they do it because they're quite different under the hood, aren't they? Completely different philosophies, really. Yep. And that's key for you, the listener. It's not just about which one is better overall. No, it's about which one fits your house, your uh, existing solar setup, if you have one, and what you want down the road. Precisely. So you've got the Franklin WHA Power 2 that's packing, what, 15 kilowatt hours of storage. That's the energy tank size. Yep, 15 kilowatt of storage. And crucially, 10 kilowatts of continuous power output. That's the uh, the speed, the instantaneous power. And then the Enphase IQ Battery 10C that offers 10 kilowatt hours of usable energy and uh, 7.08 kilowatts continuous power. Still very strong. Definitely strong. Okay, so let's kick this off. Round one, raw power. This is, you know, fundamental for whole home backup. What jumps out? Well, the Franklin WH Power 2, I mean, 10 kilowatt continuous, that is serious muscle for a residential battery. It really is. What does that translate to in practical terms? Yeah, it means it can handle starting up a big, like, five-ton air conditioner while your electric water heater is running, maybe the stove, too, all at the same time, without uh, tripping or struggling. Wow, Okay. That covers pretty much anything a house could throw at it. Right. And some might say it's overkill, but I think it's also about, you know, future proofing. Homes are getting more electric, induction stoves, multiple EV chargers. Good point. That demand for instant power is only going up. Now, the Enphase 10C at just over 7 kilowatt continuous, still pretty beefy, right? Right. Absolutely. That's more than enough for most homes. It'll handle HVAC, pool pumps, the usual suspects. No problem. It's a huge step up for Enphase. So comparing them, the Franklin WH has, what, about 41% more continuous power? Mathematically, yes. But like you said earlier, average home use is maybe 1 to 3 kilowatt continuous. The spikes are where it matters. Right, those startup surges. Kicking on the AC or the well pump can spike you up to 7, maybe 10 kilowatts briefly. Exactly. So Franklin wins on pure power numbers, definitely. But the Enphase 10C is, well, genuinely sufficient for most whole home scenarios today. Okay, so power gets things running, but uh, how long do they keep running? That's capacity, right? Round two? Yep, energy capacity. How big is that fuel tank? And here, the Franklin WHA Power 2 comes in strong again with that 15 kilowatt hour capacity. 15 kilowatt hours. That's, that's pretty substantial for extended outages or, you know, maximizing your solar self-consumption. It is. Now, the Enphase IQ Battery 10C has 10 kilowatts usable. Still a good size, but that's, what, a third less than the U-Power 2? Yeah, 33% less storage. So that extra 5 kilowatts in the Franklin. Well, what does that mean in the, like, real hours? Well, for a typical home's load during an outage, it could easily mean an extra, say, 4 to 6 hours of backup power, give or take, obviously. Hmm, 4 to 6 hours. That could definitely be the difference between just getting through the night versus maybe covering a whole day and night cycle without sunlight. Precisely. So on pure energy storage, Franklin takes this round quite clearly. It's got 50% more capacity packed in. Okay, makes sense. Power and capacity are key, but energy needs change over time. People add EVs, electrify heating. So round three, scalability. How well did these grow? This is where Franklin WH really goes big. You can stack up to, get this, 15 of these A-Power 2 units together. 15? Seriously, what does that even get you? That's 225 kilowatt hours total, enough to power like a small commercial building or, you know, keep a massive house running independently for days on end. It's uh, it's impressive. Wow, okay. That's extreme scalability. What about Enphase? Enphase is also scalable. You have more 10C units. Their approach is more uh, modular. Each battery kind of has its own brain, its own microinverter built in. Ah, right. Consistent with their microinverter philosophy for solar panels. Exactly. So maybe not the same peak scalability as Franklin for enormous systems, but that modularity offers you know flexibility, especially for medium-sized setups. Gotcha. So Franklin dominates the high end. Enphase offers good modular growth. Okay, this next one feels really important. Round four, system architecture. How they actually, you know, work internally. 
Yeah, this is a core difference. The Franklin WHA Power 2 is a DC coupled system. It uses their central agate controller. DC coupled. Okay, so that means the battery connects kind of directly to the solar panels before the power gets converted to AC for the house. Basically, yes. That path from solar panel DC to battery DC can be super efficient, especially if you're designing a new system from scratch, all integrated. But it might mean needing specific compatible solar hardware for it to work best, right? Often, yes. For maximum benefit, you'd pair it correctly. Now, Enphase takes the opposite route. AC coupled. So it connects after the solar power has already turned into AC. Right. It hooks into the AC side of your home's electrical system. The huge advantage here is compatibility. Ah, so it works with pretty much any solar system already installed, even if it's not Enphase microinverters. Exactly. Virtually yeah. any existing solar system. That makes it incredibly flexible for retrofitting storage onto an existing setup. It just slots right in. Okay, that's a massive difference. So the choice really depends on your starting point. New build, maybe Franklin offers deeper integration. Existing system and phase offers almost universal compatibility. That sums it up perfectly. Okay, round five. Safety and installation flexibility. Good news first. Mm, please. Both use lithium iron phosphate LFP chemistry. That's really the gold standard now for home batteries. Super safe, lasts a long time. That's great. Peace of mind there. What about where you can put them? Weather tolerance? Here, Franklin seems to have a bit of an edge, especially for tougher conditions. The A-Power 2 is rated for a wider temperature range, like made of 4 Fahrenheit up to 131F. Minus 4. Okay, that covers some pretty cold climates. Right, and it uses natural cooling, and they emphasize its weatherproofing for outdoor installation. It seems quite robust. And the Enphase 10C. It's designed more for indoor or maybe covered outdoor spots, like a garage or protected patio space. It has excellent thermal management, but perhaps not quite the same extreme outdoor rating as the Franklin. So a slight advantage to Franklin if you really need that rugged outdoor capability or face extreme temperatures. Seems that way. Okay, last round before we wrap up. Round six, smart features and the whole ecosystem. Right, the brains of the operation. How do they compare in managing energy? Franklin WH provides a pretty comprehensive app. You get your time of use optimization, backup settings, monitoring. Mm -hmm. It's all unified within their system. Gives you good control. And Enphase, they've been in the monitoring and software game for a while with their solar stuff, haven't they? They have. And the IQ Battery 10C integrates right into that really mature Enphase ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You get features like StormGuard, which preemptively charges the battery if bad weather is coming. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Various savings modes, peak rate optimization. Mm -hmm. It all works seamlessly if you already have Enphase Solar. Plus, they generally have more third-party integrations established already. Okay. So maybe a slight edge to Enphase here, just due to the maturity and breadth of their existing ecosystem. But both sound pretty capable on the smarts front. I think that's fair. Both offer strong energy management tools. All right. So let's try and pull this all together. Verdict time. Who should choose which? Okay. Uh, you should probably lean towards the Franklin WH of Power 2 if... Well, if you need that top tier 10 kilowatt power, maybe for large AC units or future electrification. Right. Or if you want the maximum 15 kilowatt or storage capacity for longer outages. Exactly. Also, if you're planning a brand new solar plus storage system and want that deep DC coupled integration. And if you need that extreme scalability, potentially stacking many units or need a really robust outdoor installation, value might play in too, potentially getting more power and kilowatts per dollar. Good points. Now, the Enphase IQ Battery 10C, that seems ideal if you already have a solar system, maybe any brand, and want to add storage easily. That AC-coupled flexibility is key there. Huge. Also, if you value Enphase's proven track record, their you know, massive installer network, and that mature software ecosystem. And if maybe you don't need quite that extreme 10 kilowatt hour power, if 7 kilowatt is plenty for your home's backup needs, or if you prefer the indoor protected installation. Right. So at the end of the day, it really reflects their core philosophies, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems like Franklin WH is about maximizing the raw capability, power, storage, scalability in an integrated package. Well, Enphase is focused on maximum flexibility, compatibility, and leveraging their established ecosystem. So two great options, but definitely aimed at slightly different needs and situations. Was... And, you know figuring out which path is right for your specific home, well, that's where getting good advice comes in. At Integrate Sun, we're actually certified installers for both Franklin 
WH, and Enphase. Right, so you guys work with both. We do, and our approach isn't just about selling a box. We really look at your energy usage patterns, your current setup, what you might want in the future, EV charging, heat pumps, whatever, to figure out the right fit. That personalized analysis is crucial. It really is. So if you're trying to navigate this and figure out which system makes sense, uh, feel free to reach out. You can find us at www.integratesun.com and schedule a free consultation. We can dive deep into your specific needs. Sounds like a good next step for listeners trying to decide. We think so, because, you know, the future of controlling your own home energy, having that independence, it's not some far off thing anymore. It's basically here. The technology has arrived. It really has. The key now is just finding the right path forward to unlock it for yourself.